Welcome back, mercenaries. It's time to finish this story mission and then review what we got. So, unfortunately, the trebuchet got really messed up. Uh, it basically lost all of its main weapons. All of its weapons are, are gone. Uh, it was just really unfortunate that the leg specifically got hit. And uh, also the fact that there's just no cover in... I mean, it's a courtyard, so it shouldn't have cover. But as a result of not having cover and also just... It was just very unfortunate that basically all of the... All of the Jaeger mech's attacks basically hit its leg specifically. And with its leg down, then this mech was able to make a targeted shot on it. So that was uh, unfortunate. I'm probably not going to repair the trebuchet. I'm probably going to scrap it, uh, which I'll show you at the end. So let's go ahead and just finish this thing off. Like if a mech is like really badly damaged, I, I sometimes I'll scrap it rather than repair it because the repair bill is going to be pretty extensive on it. The prison is ours. Thanks for the assist, Lady Arano. I'll have Sumire bring us down for the victory celebration. There will be no celebration. Not after what I saw out there. Gods, Darius. The things the director has done to these people. Kamea, I need you to meet me inside the prison hospital. Right now. What is it? Better that you see for yourself, Kamea, and prepare yourself. This isn't going to be easy. Mission successful. I'll tell you what is going to be easy, though, is accepting this payment. Alrighty. So we got 1.7 million sea bills. Very nice. Um, Big Mac's out for 40 days due to one um, one injury from falling down, a second injury from the loss of the side torso. Yeah, this mech, I don't know if this mech is going to be worth the repair. And I have other mechs as well. So, like, I might repair it, I might not. It, it'll depend. What do we get? I'll take a piece of the Jaeger mech. I'll take a piece of the trebuchet. Actually, yeah, I might just build this, a second trebuchet instead, of, and then use it when I rebuild it. That might be a smarter idea. Are there any weapons of interest? Nope, I'll just take the battle mechs. Okay, let's see what the aftermath is. The aftermath? By the time our forces found him, it was too late. I'm sorry, Kamea. He was... here. All this time. Rashu. The Arano Restoration, the Icebox, Weldry. Kamea, I'm sorry, so sorry. I know how much Mastiff meant to you. He was a friend and a mentor to us both. He was more than that. The old man was like a second father to me, and my uncle condemned him to waste away on this rock, to die wretched and broken in agony. Uh, what should I say? A hero's story shouldn't end like this. Nobody's should. And yet so many have. There's no coming back from what I've witnessed here today. The scale of the Directorate's cruelty is unimaginable. What they've done here is monstrous. Monstrous. It's inhuman. Our intel was wrong, Alexander. The icebox isn't a prison. It's a meat grinder. Gods, my own family's behind this. And what's left of mine has chosen to look the other way. It isn't an easy thing to wrap our, your head around, but try to remain focused. We've just liberated the Directorate's hostages with a single blow. You've shattered your uncle's holding on the founding houses. The prisoners you've set free are already calling you the Sword of Restoration. We need to spread this message around all of Koromadir 
To galvanize your supporters and weaken Espinosa's popularity there. Galvanize your supporters. I like the sound of that. It won't be an easy process. For the last three years, those who love House Arano have been keeping their heads down. We won't break them of that overnight. In truth, an appreciable percentage of Coromadir's population supports Director Espinosa. In centralizing power, he improved the quality of life on the throne world considerably, and people will forgive a great deal for security and comfort. With our victory on Weldry, we've all seen what happened to those who would not be brought to, or who could not be bought or indoctrinated. Those who refused to kneel before a tyrant. We know what became of the people who were made to disappear, and soon enough, the entire Reach will know it too. The momentum is on our side, Kamea. We need to take advantage of it. You're right. This isn't the time for hand wringing. But Alexander, you didn't see what I saw out there on the end of the battlefield. The work crews all hunched and broken. The graveyards, great fields of unmarked burial plots that stretch as far as the eye could see. Every time I blink, I see it. The misery that was allowed to fester here. I'm going to use my special trait, background merchant guard. Back before we met, I traveled with a merchant caravan. Saw a lot of horrible things too, but nothing like this. This place, the things that my uncle stationed here, will tarnish the Oregon Reach forever. We used to be better than this. This place is going to stay with these people for the rest of their lives. I'd do anything to be able to spare them from that hurt, but I can't. A word of advice from an old veteran, Lady Arano. Focus on something you can do. Give us an order. Tell us to blow something up. Shit, use your imagination. The key is you do something and move on. I hope I don't get demonetized. That's two S-bombs I've dropped. Uh, thank you, Chief Hurtinen. You have a good crew, Fox. I have a new assignment for you, and a reward for your service. The Argo appears on your view screen. She's in rough shape, but she appears to be spaceworthy. For decades, the wreck site of the Argo was one of my father's most closely held secrets. When I sent you to retrieve her, I meant for her to serve as, some, as a symbolic purpose, a sign of rebirth and renewal, emblazoned with the Arano Umarant for all to see. I was naive. This is a time for action, not symbols. And so, Fox, I have decided she will be yours to command. The Argo will serve as your new home, and she will fly your mercenary banner. Lord Madeira will act to you as my liaison. And in return, you'll grow stronger, sharper, more flexible. You'll hone your company into a razor's edge, one that I will hold to the Directorate's throat. Ah, uh, let's see... In that case, congratulations. You've got yourself a navy. If that's settled, then please, Kamea, go back to the triage tent and get your wounds looked at. The conditions here are beyond unsanitary, and you'll be of no use to anyone if you're dying of some exotic infection. Our people can tend to the wounded. We need you strong for the fight ahead. I will, Alexander, but not just yet. Assemble our people in the courtyard. There's something I need to say. People of the Oregon Reach, I am Kamea Arano, and I have failed you. For three long years, Director Espinosa has imprisoned and starved and murdered our people. And where was I? Hiding in a palace, light years away, building support, planning while the Directorate's secret police turned neighbor against neighbor, made your loved ones disappear, conscripted your children. I wasn't here. I didn't know. The crimes that I have witnessed here today are unforgivable. No doubt, Director Espinosa believes that the ends justify the means, that the Oregon Reach has been made strong. Well, I say that strength built on fear is brittle. The Directorate is a paper tiger, and I declare this restoration today to rally the true strength of our people, our resilience, and our freedom. Let Weldry be a call to arms. Join us, and together we will liberate the Founding Houses and retake Cormadir. Not because it is my birthright, but because the Directorate's crimes against you, the Oregon people, will no longer be tolerated. 
That is what I fight for. And I vow to fight for your freedoms to my dying breath. Have ship, we'll travel. In orbit, Weldry. Hello again, my mercenary friends. Before you officially take possession of the Argo, I wanted to introduce myself in person. We never really got a chance to meet properly on Axelus. So, uh, hi! I'm Dr. Farah Marad, or just Farah if you prefer. It's nice to meet you all in the faith, all face to face. Yeah, Doc, you too. I'm gonna call you Doc, by the way. You should probably just go ahead and get used to it. It was impressive work you did getting the Argo flying. Between you and me, I had my doubts. Honestly, I did too. You should have seen what the Argo's interior looked like after a couple of years of pirate occupation. Actually, I take that back. If you'd seen what you saw, you'd never want to set foot in here. Take it from me. The ship has been de-loused from bow to stern, and every meter of her has been hosed down with industrial grade disinfectant. This ship is clean enough to eat off of, I swear. Um... Clean is good, but space-worthy is better. You sure the Argo is ready for action? Oh, absolutely, I mean. She's here, isn't she? All the way from Learton with nary a decompression event in sight. Don't worry, Commander. I wouldn't endanger my new crewmates by putting them on an unsafe ship. I've got professional standards to maintain. Uh, new crewmate? Do you know something we don't? Did Lady Aranu not say? I'm coming with you. You'll need me in case something goes wrong with the ship. Not that it will, mind you, but, you know, just in case. Oh, and Darius, I'm sorry about all the shouting back on Axelus, as it turns out getting shot at by pirates puts me on edge. And no hard feelings? None at all. Keep this beast flying and you can yell at me all you want. Hell, I'm used to it. Welcome to the family. You too, Lord Madeira. I never imagined we'd be working together, but I'm glad to have the opportunity. As am I, Mr. Oliviera. Over the years of our exile, Lady Arano told me a great deal about you and your company. All of it good. Even before the events of the coup, she knew about Markham's Marauders. Your assistance with her father's Fjalder campaign did not go unnoticed. It was a job, Lord Madeira. We only did what High, Hamad, High Lord Tamati paid us to do. Still, it feels good to be appreciated and to know someone out there still remembers Commander Markham's name. Ah, uh, you'll be a welcome addition aboard the Argo, Lord Madeira. Thank you, Commander Fong. Speaking of which, you'll have some time to break your new ship in before Lady Arano is ready to move to Panzir. You'll need to consider our forces on Weldry and replace our losses with fresh volunteers. Remember her orders. You are to sharpen your company, your company and grow strong. And now that you have a mobile command center worthy of the title, I suggest you use it. I'll get you a fresh batch of contracts to look over, Fox. The whole Rimward per periphery is our e is our oyster now. We won't be limited by debts or travel restrictions. Exciting times, I gotta say. Uh, origin from my bankruptcy background. Exciting doesn't begin to describe it. Our debt doesn't rule us anymore. For a company like ours, that's everything. Amen to that. Hey, great, we're all on the same page. Uh, wonderful, so uh, shouldn't we go aboard our new ship? There's an absolutely enormous mech bay in there with my name on it, and I'm getting irate that I'm not standing in it yet. You heard the man. Take stations, everyone. We're free agents until Lady Arano calls for us. Then there's money to be made. The Argo is uh, not in good shape, Commander, but with time, money, and some of Chief Vertinen's technical resources, we can address most of the major problems. Maybe we'll make this place nice again. I'll be in engineering if you want to know more. Lady Arano said she wanted us to get stronger. With these new mech facilities, we finally have the resources to do that. Bring me scrap mechs from missions and shops, and I'll rebuild them into fighting machines. And remember, boss, when it comes to mechs, bigger is usually better. Oh. Giving me a little lip, a little bit of lag. Okay. Ugh. Super laggy. Okay. Okay, let's... First things first. No, no, I'm not Need talking something. to you, Yang. I'm, I'm looking at Come my back. mechs. Anytime. Okay, let's see what the repair bill on this theoretically is. Repair all. Uh, 200,000. Do I want to do that? I don't think I want to do that for 200,000. So I'm just going to scrap this mech for 368,000. 
And we'll just get ourselves another trebuchet eventually, anyways. So, we'll scrap that mech. Um, let's check the store. We could sell off some of our battle mechs that we have collected over time. Um, let's sell this. We'll sell the Panthers. We'll sell all of the Locust. Sell... Oops, I think I had cancel. Sell... Selling battle mechs can get you a lot of money. Okay. Let's see what battle mechs they're selling. Uh, they got two pieces of the quick draw, which I don't need. And the enforcer, that would have been better earlier in the game. Ah, uh, we got one piece of the awesome. I think I will buy this piece of the awesome to start working on it. Eh, maybe. Uh, what do they got here? They got comm systems. What kind of weapons do they have here? Interesting. I'm tempted to get the piece of the awesome, but I kind of want to go at a more organic pace. I don't know if I want to skip into the assault mechs. Let's see here. Let's check our mech warriors out. I'll spend an EXP point. Training complete. Yes, Commander. Let's start working towards another talent. Training confirmed, Commander. Waiting for orders. There we go. He got the second skill, Ace Pilot. Mech warrior now, once he gets that second skill, all of the other skills are removed. Like they're no, they're no longer Training available. Complete. Orders. Because you can only have two of the first skills and one of the second skills. So, uh, nothing there. And it. the Big Mac will take this. Become our Training master confirmed. tactician. Now, let's take a look at engineering. Welcome to engineering. This is a new area. Happy to be here. So this is basically our base, and we can basically spend resources to repair the Argo and bring more of its systems online. But the more systems are online, we, the more we have to pay per month in order to maintain it. That's like uh, kind of the double-edged element of it. But it's well worth it. We can make more than enough money to keep the Argo fully financed. That's not a big deal at all. I'm pretty happy with the battle mechs we have, to be honest. Like, I, I you know, the, I mean, obviously I would prefer it if we had the, what do you call it? I can't even think of it now. The trebuchet. Hello, but you know, that's how the cookie the crumbles. Not be fully functional yet, but she's spaceworthy enough for our purposes. So here we are, right here. We've got this little chunk. This little red area here is the the uh, the restoration effort. So we've taken that from this green this green area over here, which is the uh, the directorate. And uh, in this area, there's a lot of missions for the Arano restoration, and they pay a lot better. Like, let me go check the payouts. Yeah, the. Uh, I believe we get a contract payment bonus. Yes. So whenever we do random jobs for Kamea, we get a 10% extra payout, which is pretty sweet. So over, oh, this one looks like it'll be pretty fun to do. The tag team battle. Tag teams are usually huge. It's basically our lance and an allied lance versus two enemy lances, sometimes three enemy lances. Uh, that one will be. We, I, I'm definitely. Gonna, I'm going to record that one in the next episode. That's definitely what we're going to be working on. I also need to get more mech warriors. So basically, I need another tactics guy. Yeah, I need another. Ta I need one of each, but I need two tactics guys. But a big mech. He's going to be out for a while. Thirty-five days. One of the ways we could speed that up is by yeah, investing in. Medical upgrades. Right now, we only have access to one medical upgrade. I need to get some of the, the pods, of the habitation pods up and running. But there's kind of an order in which you can build some of these. Like, we can't get the beta habit, the hab habitation pod alpha up until I get the power systems and the structure repaired. Because uh, if you look over here, you can see that the Argo has a lot of physical damage to it. There's These are the habitation pods I'm talking about, these things that are orbiting slowly. But as we buy the upgrades, the ship will actually start to look better. And here's our leopard right here. The leopard docks onto it on those docking, like, I think those are like, uh, these like magnetic docking clamps. 
But yeah, that's going to be the end of this episode. I will start again, uh, uh, I guess in two days. Yeah, I upload every other day. And we're going to do that tag team mission. I've got a good feeling about that. I'll run some other, you know, miscellaneous missions. And we will... What we need now is we need to start getting better battle mechs. We need to start... Uh, let, let me look at my battle mechs. The fire starter is good. The Centurion is sufficient, but we're going to need a battle mech better than the Centurion. Um, same with the Blackjack. The Blackjack is good, but we're going to get to the point where it can't keep up with the firepower. So we need to start getting some of the stronger medium mechs. And, uh, I mean, like, the, the Centurion is a pretty good battle mech, but yeah, we, we need to start getting into the heavy mechs. Like, I wouldn't mind having a Catapult. That would be pretty nice. I wouldn't mind having, like, an Orion and a Warhammer and a Marauder. Like, there's a lot of heavy battle mechs that, you know, like, those are the ones that are going to greatly increase our firepower so that we can start battering our way through the enemies so we don't have to, like, you know, shoot it out with them so much we can overpower them with superior firepower. But, uh, yeah, that's what we need to do. We need to start getting some... Like, let me look at my storage. Let's see the parts for heavy mechs. All we have is the, the Jaeger mech. We only have... We, so we, we're, we're really... We're not too close to getting any heavy mechs. So I'm going to have to hope that some of these harder missions, like, they let a few heavy me mechs sneak in there. You know, we're not ready to fight a whole bunch of heavy mechs, but sometimes, like, one heavy mech will sneak in there and be like, Oh, what am I doing here? And that's what we're going to be working on. At any rate, that mission went pretty well, except for that unfortunate hit on the leg. The, uh, there, there was the, I mean, I guess ahead of time I could have had the, the mech facing more forwards, but I, 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 that was just, you know, like, who would have guessed that all of the Jaeger mech's shots would have hit the trebuchet's left leg, or, yeah, his left leg and knock him over? That was a, uh, unfortunate event. But until next time, everybody, it went pretty well. Hope you enjoyed it. Like this video if it was entertaining. Subscribe for future Battletech content. And of course, remember that you don't have to be good to get good.